I have taught my computer to play Pong and spectacularly beat the game on the expert level. Let's see how I did it. It is finally happening. Pong time. A couple of videos ago, I have written a program that would play a 3D version of the Pong game where the complex underlying logic was see the ball, move mouse there. And today it's a classic version of Pong and the logic, well, it does get a little bit more complex, but not a whole lot really. You will see for yourselves. As before, I play Pong that can be found at ponggame.org. You can see me, a human, a human that quite clearly stinks at playing Pong. I might add playing Pong. And the goal I set for the program is to beat the game if possible, on the hardest difficulty level. We will talk about how difficulty levels work and a few things behind Pong that I wasn't aware of. But first, let's start with getting the data into our program. So as before, we input screenshots of the game and we are going to output mouse movements to move the pedal or the racket in the game. Pretty straightforward, really. The whole setup is pretty similar to what you might have seen at the Code Bullet channel, which Full disclosure is very much a source of inspiration here. Anyway, let's start with getting the data in. I have updated the whole logic of how the program locates the game on the screen. Now I can tell borders with the accuracy of one pixel and it doesn't take a lot of time to do that. And as before, I used MSS, multiple screenshot Python library, which now I cannot do without. That's how good it is really. Next task is to find the ball on the screen, which in our case is a white square. 16 by 16 pixels in size. The only problem is basically everything else on the screen is made out of white squares 16 by 16 pixels. My solution went like this. Scan the image every 10th row of it or every 10th pixels in a row. And if we stumble upon a white pixel, check the square of pixels around. If all are black, congrats, your search is over. The drawback of this approach is that the program gets ball blind every time ball passes over or close to something. But as you will see later, it's actually not a problem at all. Now, we're getting to the most interesting part, deciding where to move the pedal, which is actually all that playing Pong is about. So this is how we're going to do it. We have coordinates of the ball of the previous frame. We have coordinates of the ball as of this frame. Sprinkle this data with some fifth grade level geometry. Similar triangles is the topic you have to be familiar with. And voila, you have a spot where the ball should hit the pedal. Now, here's the tricky bit. Quite often, the ball will not be going directly towards the pedal, but would rather hit the side first and then bounce back. And it's really tempting to continue using the geometry to calculate where it would go after it bounces. But now, I would argue, this is a pitfall. And here's why. First, and this is what Code Bullet points out, you have a situation where your previous frame is taken before the bounce and the current one right after the bounce. Uh, and this situation will skew all the results. Now, there is probably a way to detect such situations, but hear me out. How about we just ignore it? My point is, you still get the data on where the pedal should be on the next frame. So what's the rush? And since we use the mouse for control, we essentially teleport pedal to the final location in exactly one frame no matter how far it is. Yes, there is a small chance that the ball would bounce very close to the pedal and you wouldn't have enough frames to get to the proper reading, but it rarely happens. So bottom line is, if you see the ball heading towards the side, just chillax and ignore it. This would have been it. You can see how the program calculates the place where the pedal should be with the ball and the previous positions of the ball highlighted and the line that projects the trajectory. The problem here is, this way we almost never win the match, even playing with an easy opponent, let alone the expert level. Let's examine why it is so and what can be done. The version I played, and I don't know if this is universally true for all Pong, so don't quote me on this, has three levels of the computer opponent. Beginner, intermediate and expert. They all are programmed 
just to follow the ball wherever it goes. The only difference being the max speed of their movements. The beginner one being the slowest and it will be missing the ball if you just send it to the opposite part of the court. The expert one actually is quite fast. It's almost impossible to make it lose. Almost, but not quite. There's a certain way to impregnate the impregnable, but first let's look at how Pong game works. What do you think causes the ball to bounce off your pedal with a certain angle? Why is it that sometimes it goes in a straight kind of perpendicular line and sometimes it flies at a rather acute angle? All this time I played Pong, I was under the impression that this caused by the speed of the pedal at the moment you hit the ball. Nah, -uh. Not at all. Actually, the angle depends on one thing and one thing only, which part of the pedal you hit the ball with. You hit the ball with the central part, ball goes straight. You hit it closer to the corner, it will veer away much more. Simple but ingenious, isn't it? So the winning strategy is always hit the ball with the corner of the pedal. Nothing difficult, just introducing a bit of shift to the position we are aiming at. Now every time you hit the ball, the ball goes into this nice little spin, kind of. It doesn't go through the expert opponent every time, but when you hit the ball in such a way at a certain place on the screen, it goes just past its defense. Nicely done. Actually, maybe even too nicely, because sometimes it happens every time you serve the ball and you get like five, six, seven goals in a row. And there's nothing bad about it, it just makes it a bit dull to watch. So I introduced the aggressiveness coefficient. How often my program would go for the kill, as it were. Other times it will just casually hit the ball with the center of the pedal, so the expert opponent will for sure be able to get it. So there you have it, the final result. The program that not only can win the game with the expert computer opponent, but also do it in a fun to watch kind of way. The link to the source code is in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video, if so, subscribe. Next time we're gonna be playing Minesweeper, another program that is fun to look at. If you are into these kind of things, of course. See you in the next video. Bye.